Okay, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Aegean Lifestyle Stories. Uh, we are on the shoreline of Aegean Sea. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. Uh, another beautiful day. Uh, enjoying life and the sun. As you know, uh, Santorini possible earthquake and uh, volcanic eruption uh, stories are all over the place nowadays and some people are actually uh, talking about some doomsday scenarios but uh, looks like uh, that's not the case uh, as far as I uh, interpret the data and uh, also uh, from my observations throughout this region as a person who happens to be living in this area for more than 50 years. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to tell you what might most probably will be happening in uh, the following days. And uh, let's see if I can make you guys believe that. Okay, so this is the topic today. Now let's start with the earthquakes. Uh, as you know, we got more than 10,000 earthquakes. Uh, that's a big number. And for months or so. And uh, uh, if, if you actually group uh, the magnitudes of earthquakes in weekly manner we're going to be seeing that uh, starting from the first week in january uh, january at the end of january uh, actually it started building and increasing till next week last week and last week uh, till then it's just slowing down okay we got some big earthquakes last week but right now it looks like uh, we are not getting uh, uh, that big magnitude earthquakes uh, nowadays. So it's slowing. And also the other thing is the epicenter of the earthquakes in general is moving toward uh, Turkey coastline uh, to the east. So uh, it looks like uh, as some guys say, and as my understanding, it's not something volcanic happening here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, fault zones and fractures and movements uh, in this area. That's why we're having these earthquakes, I guess. The other thing is, if you uh, check the history, actually, uh, for volcanic areas like Vesuvius or San Helen uh, volcanic eruption uh, mountain in U.S. and some other uh, places uh, throughout uh, the Earth, you're going to see that actually, if you have the volcanic eruption occurred before. Uh, you have already uh, the path. So it's what happens in general uh, prior to volcanic eruption, maybe one or two weeks, you start getting uh, some shaking, you start getting some volcanic uh, earthquakes. And at the end of that uh, week or 10 days period, I guess, it erupts. And that's the general pattern. But if you don't have the volcanic uh, pad and volcanic mountain, if there's something newly happening in that area, uh, you might get a lot of uh, earthquakes for one or two months uh, because you have a lot of blockages uh, and uh, on the path. Uh, so the magma is not actually uh, uh, finding its way to the surface. So it's cracking uh, the surface a lot. So it's going to take a lot of uh, time to do that. 
So the general pattern for these type of areas is uh, one to two months or maybe longer sometimes. But at the end, you end up with uh, the eruption. But here in Santorini, we have this uh, volcanic zone, which we know that erupted uh, many times in history. So uh, we know that it has the path, the magma has the path. Of course, uh, we have this collision zone here, uh, as it happens to be in uh, Hawaii, uh, actually, uh, volcanic zones are, uh, with the time, uh, would be a moving away from uh, the subduction zone. Uh, if you have one volcanic eruption happening here, and then maybe some long period of time, you will end up with another one uh, 100 miles away uh, from this location, and then uh, it goes in one uh, direction in general, as it happened in Hawaii. You have all the islands in, in one line. <laughs> so uh, the other thing I guess uh, we should be checking is <clears throat> <clears throat> since we are living uh, in a tectonic plate where we have the Africa actually coming from south, which is a big solid plate, a tectonic plate, and we have Asia uh, on the north, and also we have the Arabian uh, plate from the southeast. So all these plates are actually trying to skew us uh, in this area, and that's actually why we have a lot of mountains east-west direction and we have a lot of fault zones and cracks and volcanic activity, uh, earthquake activities and geothermal resources all over the place also. <clears throat> so uh, if you are uh, just uh, pressing uh, from all directions, the only way you can go is up. So that's why uh, we have a lot of mountains all over the place. We don't have a flat plains, a wide area, uh, flat plains. We have a lot of mountains, and mostly because of the pressure of big Asia and Africa plate, we have a lot of mountains in its east-west direction aligned. So uh, it looks like that's why we're having all these earthquakes in that area. And uh, it's not going to erupt or nothing most probably will happen. Uh, I've seen this pattern many times throughout 30 years in this area. And about two years ago, actually, we had almost the same pattern. We had about one month or so earthquakes, almost the same pattern. Uh, 2.1, 3, 4.1, 4.2, and things like that. And then uh, it suddenly uh, stopped. So, of course, then we last year we got this 7.1 uh, earthquake, which was about right epicenter, was right about this point. Uh, that's the Samos Island. This is a Turkish shoreline. So it's about there. And we had that earthquake. Nothing happened here, but 30 miles away from in Izmir, in Smyrna, old city, uh, because they are on the soft ground, uh, river silt filled, uh, mud filled ground, uh, the shaking amplitude increases uh, as it goes all the way to that uh, city and there they got a lot of destructions and uh, they got some uh, <coughs> big problems there too but nothing happened here 7.1 so this is the general uh, pattern around here you get a lot of earthquakes 
and some guys are showing that in Santorini uh, on the slopes they got some smokes and fumes and things like that but guys I can show you many places around here uh, uh, I, we used to live in a small village which is about 10 miles away from here the other side of the mountains and uh, in our mountains we had a lot of uh, geothermal spots and it's always uh, fuming and smokes are coming that's terribly uh, smells bad carbon dioxide and some sulfurs and some poison is gases most probably and some water vapor also too and uh, that's the way it is uh, in this area so you're not going to be able to uh, <clears throat> escape these earthquakes if you're living in this area uh, and looks like uh, that will be the case I guess in Santorini so we're not looks like uh, we're not gonna get any volcanic eruption and uh, in maybe in a month or so we will all forget uh, what happened and go with the business I guess so uh, the Santorini is going to erupt? I don't think so. And the numbers actually says no. Uh, of course, uh, I may be wrong. Uh, I may I don't know uh, exactly what could happen, or you don't know, or all those doomsday uh, predictors. They don't know too. Only God knows. We don't. Uh, really know what's going to happen. So uh, if you just keep listening to those uh, doomsday uh, predictors and say that something terrible will happen, we're got we're just going to get into trouble and things like that. I don't think that's the case here. And um, I guess what we need to do is just go uh, with the life and uh, if you guys planning to uh, go to vacation this summer uh, Asian islands is uh, they they have some good spots there too I would advise you to uh, uh, do your booking right now it could be a chip <laughs> right now I guess so maybe uh, you should check your travel agency right now <laughs> for the booking and uh, yeah I'm uh, joking but in any way uh, nobody knows uh, only God knows so we pray nothing serious happens and uh, we'll just go with the flow I guess and see what happens and but most probably that's gonna happen and we will be all fine oh by the way if if you come uh, to greek islands uh, around here uh, if you go to a restaurant please ask for moussaka a couple of days ago i was watching youtube and a greek chef was cooking something and i said oh this this one familiar what what is he doing and he said okay guys i'm cooking moussaka and i said what moussaka is my favorite uh, uh, dish and my mom used to cook it very well uh, since she passed away last year i missed her uh, moussakas but moussaka is my uh, best uh, dish and I didn't know that it was a Greek uh, cuisine, so uh, it's 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 very good. Uh, ask for moussaka and uh, taste for yourself if it's good or not. Okay, and this summer, if you guys stick with me uh, in my garden, uh, I'm gonna plant some eggplants. 
we actually plant eggplants uh, every year and we have outdoor oven and we have everything there and i'm gonna cook you a good asian style moussaka and uh, taste it for you guys enjoy the life and we'll see you guys